Obviously, he's obviously been outstanding. Yeah, you would have seen he, he got a knock to, to the head in the marking contest. Obviously, it's precautionary this time of the year to make sure he's OK. Um, we've obviously got a few days to, to see what, see how it pans out, but at this stage, he's, he's pulled up OK from, from the head. So, a head-related concussion? Yeah, it could be. It could be. Well, as, as we said, he, he looked a bit groggy from the head, so we'll just yeah, see how it pans out and see how he pulls up. Obviously, we don't have any games coming up, so we'll make sure we look after him. I thought it was a really good session. I thought it was a nice hit out the, the match play. Um, we had a focus on stoppages at, at one stage as well. And um, yeah, there was some pretty good performances all around um, from, from both groups. So it's, uh, each session has been getting more intense and um, a more focus on, on the match play. And um, with games not that far away, it's, it's important that we get a good hit out. Is it a little bit of a longer one because of the four day break coming up? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that adds to it, but I, I think you'll find that our sessions will, you know, especially Mondays and Fridays, will be pretty big sessions um, with a with a match play focus now. So um, the sessions will drag out a fair bit. Obviously, it's good that it looks like he's going to be okay concussion wise, but is it a bit more worrying when someone like Dennis goes down given his, his injury history, especially when you see it happen? You think is that a shoulder? Is that a, is that a back? Well, yeah, fingers crossed. When you you know when you're playing match play and it's pretty competitive. Um, yeah, you, you, you put yourself out there to, I guess, as a team to, to have those sort of incident, incidents. Um, but it, it looks OK. He, he landed a little bit awkwardly on his hip or so, and it's a bit of a corky on the hip at the same time. So he'll be, uh, come next week, he'll be, he'll be right. He'll be able to, I'm sure, run. It'll just be precautionary about looking after him um, from, a, from a head point of view. Well, the front, he's certainly catching the eye every time he sort of steps up out there. What have you made of him since he's coming? Well, I think he's just building. I think each session he, he's got better and better and he's able to um, sustain, you know, I guess more run and more physicality out there. And, uh, you know, like you've seen his weapons come out each session and you see more come out. So um, he's been enjoyable to, to watch his progress so far. It's been a bit of time forward line today as well. How good is that that you've got so many guys that yeah, it's nice to have the flexibility to, um, from a midfield point of view, but also um, forward of the ball, um, to be able to send those guys forward and have a number of guys. Sam Pelpepe comes through the midfield also. Um, there's a bit of power and um, physicality going through there, and obviously with Butters and, and Rosie, and then, um, obviously Ollie's not out there yet. So um, there's a number of options to go inside, but also to go forward of the ball. How, how, far, sorry, how far away is, is Ollie? Are you expecting him to be back for the trip to WA? Yeah, I think so. I think he'll be he'll be close um, for um, you know if we we head over there and play those games, then I think Ollie will be around the mark. Um, yeah, like it, it is about round one, so we're not going to just throw him out there for the sake of it. But um, hopefully he, he's up and running by then. Yeah, look, that's something we're just going to have to work out, I guess, come round one. Um, at the moment, it's about getting him as fit as we can, um, preparing for round one, and um, I think that's a luxury um, come, you know, the first game of the year um, to see whether we, you know, what, what sort of split, 50-50, um, 60-40 or 70-30 midfield. Um, you know, there's a number of options we'll wait and see. What sort of have you been surprised about since coming back as to how you judge this midfield group from afar to, to now, how you see them? Uh, I think so the balance from um, the inside to outside mix with, within the midfield. So you know, I, don't, I haven't spoken about Drewy yet, but um, Willem Drewy's been outstanding um, so far in the pre-season. So you know, you've got him and Ollie, um, I guess, who are the big balls that are, that are inside. But then you, you get a bit of a cross-section with, with Jason and then um, Connor's got weapons that the others don't have so and then with butters as well so you know I'm, I'm listing a, a fair few names um, there but I just think the balance of um, the different weapons that they have that they bring to the midfield group they're all open to learning and getting better and um, and improving and um, that's all I want as a, as a coach. How are you enjoying being back as much changed around here since the last time? Oh, Port Adelaide is itself, it's its own DNA and um, every time I come back in I love you know, being, being back here so um, I enjoy the culture of the, of the footy club and the people and you, know, you see that the supporters, the amount of supporters that we're getting on our open training sessions has been really impressive. In terms of rugby wise, what are you expecting there? Is it, is it going to be predominantly light, predominantly light set or a bit more of a horse's, horses approach in terms of Jeremy coming in? Oh, I think it's just the best ruckman come round one, you know, plays, plays. So um, it's really open, and that's no different than the midfield. 
like it's I, I look at it and it's not just my decision it's obviously all the all the coaches but come when it comes to selection it's the best performing player coming round one so when you look at the ruck and that role then it's the the best ruckman who's performing that that time of the year which is you know come round one so um they all fit and they're you know scotty's had a good pre-season hazy's um going well um you know young, young dante is starting to step up as well so there's there's pressure there's pressure on for spots and then obviously jeremy um did well last year in in that position so there's a number of players that um can fill the role and it's whatever is best for the team come come the start of the year me? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess my plan, I guess, always has to been to to finish, you know, back in SA. Um, when I say finish, to, to come back, um, I needed experience to, to go away to a different team and, and learn, and um, to to go, you know, over there under Justin, um, who I really respect as a coach, and um, there was a lot of things that I felt I had to learn, and he was there. You know, I thought he could teach me a lot, so and I think I learned a lot. What are some of those things that you learned? Yeah. Look, I think you know. Um, defensively, um, you know, Fremantle are a, a really strong team. Justin had a, a really strong DNA with his um, team defence. Um, I think personally, that's what I, I wanted to learn a lot in that that area, um, and I did. And I guess the way uh, the, the football club, everything, you know, all football clubs are different. They um, they run differently and, and see th things differently. So it was nice to uh, get a different perspective. What have you made of some of the speculation about you potentially coming here to succeed? Can uh, I don't even think about it really. Uh, I think for me personally, it's just about me improving as a coach and, and getting better and, and learning. And I learned a lot from Ken in my early days um, as a coach and to be able to go away and then bring back, um, I guess, some more intel and um, more experience as a coach and help him out is, is what I've you know, wanted to do. And um, he teaches me a lot. He challenges me, challenges me as a coach in, in different areas and I'm only going to get better um, coaching with him. In, in general, though, do you have senior coaching Oh yeah, I want to be a senior coach one day, but um, I'm not in a rush to, to do that. I'll just keep learning, and when that um, time presents, I'll be ready to go. Tom Scully, another reasonably impressive session out there for, for a young fella. How, what have you made of him so far? He he has been impressive. Um, he presents at the ball. He's obviously over 200 centimetres. Um, he's hard to defend as a as a tall guy. So. Um, yeah, each week it looks like he's getting more confident um, being out there with the um, with AFL players, you know, not 18 year olds. Um, so he's been impressive. Just on Arazio, what's the update? I think he'll train next week. So he was a little bit tight in the calf last week. Um, so we're just looking after him. He's had, a, he's had an outstanding pre season um, up until now. So we're just making sure that he's okay. So he'll be out there next week. Is it just with his situation? Just Cautionary yep. everything last year. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. We're just making sure he, we, we look after him and have him ready to go for the start of the year. Anyone else catching the eye? Yeah, oh, look, I think they all are. Um, as I said, Drew, he's been, Drew, he's been great. Um, I think there's been a number of players you know, that have come in. You know, obviously, Scully being a young guy. Um, but yeah, all of them. Touch on Jason as well with those games coming up. Yeah, I think everyone's excited. I, I could hear the crowd every time we got the ball out there today. I'm um, getting pretty excited by it. So obviously, he's, look, he's got um, he, he's only a second year player. So there's obviously expectations with um, where he's come from, being number one draft pick and things like that. But Jason's got a lot to learn um, as far as AFL footy and. Um, what the game um, requires, but he's been really open to, to learning and getting better. Um, he's, he wants to be a good footballer, so he, he's ready for that and he'll get better, but he's not going to be that straight away. Sin's obviously building back as, as well. Is he, is he someone that you think is more likely to be at half-back versus on the wing? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, like I, Sin, he's, you know, he, he hasn't been out there yet for, I guess, me personally to make that judgment. Um, at this stage, he's spending a bit of time with the backs, but we're really open to, to players, obviously, you know, not just playing one role. So, you know, there's that option with his speed and his um, his kick to, to play on a wing also. But the first thing for him is to get out there on the on the track. Thanks, guys.